your right arm. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. They can hear you, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So, let us now start. So, the first part of the slide, we have what is an IELTS or what is IELTS? Basically, the International English, English Language Testing Center system IELTS measures the language proficiency of people who want to study or work where English is used as a language of communication. It uses a nine band scale to clearly identify levels of proficiency from non user band score one through to expert band score nine. So in our school we usually track those persons or, or students wanted to take the IELTS system training based on the origin yeah. of their learning environment. For like, for example, of okay, in, in the major part of the number, we constructed from the non-native English speakers because those people are wanting to have a business integration on English and also those who are wanting to study abroad or to take higher degree of education in very prominent universities in different country. So ne next slide we have Sir Mark. Okay, just like what I have said, there are two targets of those IELTS takers which correspond also to <coughs> Second slide, we have the two types of IELTS. Number one, we have academic IELTS for, for people applying for higher education or professional registration. This is very important, everyone, especially if you are to take medical courses outside your country, especially if the nature of your country is not really a non-native language English speaking country. So, for example, those those students who want to study in Cambridge University, in like Harvard University, and different good universities around the world. So they're targeting that. That is for academic, from the word academic. So it inculcates and contrasts um, deep learning of a language, especially English language. So number two, we have general training for those migrating to Australia, Canada, and the UK, or applying for secondary education training programs and work experience in an English speaking environment. Both versions provide a valid and accurate assessment of the four language skills, or in the other word we have, in the other words rather, the four macro skills. We have listening, reading, writing, and speaking. These four was being put inside a box of learning IELTS because it represents the structure of those who wanted to target IELTS in the course of field that they wanted to pray or to have for themselves. Okay, so like we have the three major countries, Australia, Canada, and the UK. So in the UK, maybe some of you will eventually say that okay do i need to to really learn a fluent british somehow because they're being influenced big in terms of that language but not really so as long as you can communicate you can convey a clear message using english language that not that is not really a requisite so let's start first with the basic rules in order for you to know the broad field of the IELTS, okay? So, next slide, please. Okay, so here we go. In order for us, including you, including us, including those who wanted to teach IELTS or those people are, who are planning to work abroad internationally. So these can help you 
ameliorate or develop your capacity as a future students of IELTS or a future teachers of IELTS. So next slide, Sir Mart. Okay, number one, study vocabulary. It is a matter of learning words, not only the words alone, but the whole context of how are we going to learn a word or a single word meaningfully. Okay, let's have record expressions that can be used in a variety of academic contexts. Okay, first factor, record phrases, rather than individual words. This is very important, especially if you are to deliver a statement, a speaking test. So, record phrases, record phrases, rather than individual, individual words. In IELTS, you are not only to study one single word and the and the intensity of <coughs> word. Okay? So we have like for example in a study vocabulary section, instead of saying you are important to me, you can use some expressions like idiomatic expression, like you are the apple to my eyes instead of saying you are very important to me and so on and other intensifying factor brought by studying vocabulary okay so record phrases number two use a good monolingual dictionary to check proper word arrangement when i say monolingual this is the dictionary that comprises the words that not really difficult that are not really difficult for you to get or to understand because there are some subject in IELTS that needs specific words for example in the medicine the word sex of course it it denotes or it connotes a lot of meaning sex can be on an organ or sex can be an intercourse so you have to be very careful on that in using a word or a dictionary for example the word mistress some people um tend to believe that the word mistress is only about an illegal wife but you know i know that some of you knew it already that the word mistress can also be um like connected to a situation where mistress means a legal wife or somehow the, the first lady of a company or the first lady of a house, the legal wife in that, in, in that brand. Okay, then number three factor, avoid spending too much learning highly specialized words. Yes, this is very important. Just like what I have said, you need to convey a very clear message. I don't think that you should really um, use in a very um, flaunted kind of statement like the nominal ultra microscopic silica volcanic gnosis. So I think um, that is only essential sometimes for trivial matters, L knowing the longest word in English and other part of the English word. So avoid spending too much learning highly specialized words. Again, next we have rep record use useful expressions related to these topics that is very important that you need to connect the way that you are enforcing a kind of learning routine depending on you yourself who are learning the IELTS or who wanted to take the IELTS now let's have practice talking and writing about them in English this is very basic obviously you are obliging yourself to have the IELTS exam so practice talking talking and writing about in English okay next we have you use newspaper magazines and websites to learn more this is very important why because most articles being presented and the newspapers magazine and news website content